So, I will talk about, a little bit about the new app store that some other people are mainly working about, but uh, sadly they aren't here, so these are the awesome persons which are writing the app store. You have probably seen them around GitHub quite some time. Uh, Bernhard is with the project since like ages, so very nice. So, what is this thing about? So, what they had basically in mind is write a new app store which has some new features, is fancy, has way less code and uh, use all the fancy technology that some people may want to use, right? So that's how it looks like, ba pretty basic, but the nice thing is actually what is happening in the uh, in the technical background. So what you see here is basically all the apps. Um, it's pretty nice because, for example, uh, it's not on the screen, but some of these images are animated. So uh, this breed app would basically show like kind of a call in process right there, which is nice because you might see what this is about. So what is actually nice about the App Store is you don't really have an administrative interface as a developer. What you do is you upload just your application tar or zip file. And what it does in the application, you have this info.xml which defines the application like this is the app name, this is the description of the app. And what happens there is you basically write, hey, this app is um, the news app and it's an RSS at home feed reader and it does this and that. The, sc the screenshots are right there. Please report bugs at this location and that location, features there. And uh, it's licensed under the AGPL. What happens then is you have uploaded this awesome uh, app file and then everything just appears automatically there. The nice thing about this is basically if you upload an app, the server automatically checks if your app follows the um, specification. So uh, it's not possible to upload an app which would uh, be in a wrong way packaged and then break everything. And it's also quite some XML magic, about 5% of the source code are XML transformations. So if, if, you, if you really want to have pain, take a look at it. <laughs> it's really <laughs> interesting. Uh, yeah. So, and the nice thing about this, it's also very uh, big uh, documented, so every API call is documented and like very extensively and lots of unit and integration tests on that one. So if you're interested to either test it by uploading your app, it will then be already be in the App Store for Nextcloud 11, or just hack on the App Store, be welcome, there's a great API and if you have fun on XML, Python or some other fancy tech, that's the place to go. And that's it from awesome. my side.